short run is the period in which at least one productive input is fixed. For simplicity, consider the size of a firm's capital stock as its fixed input and labor as its variable input, holding all other factors constant. In reality, firms will likely have multiple fixed and variable inputs, but the long run is the length of time it would take for all the firm's inputs to become variable. Those inputs are used by a firm to produce a good or service, and the firm incurs cost in doing so. Some costs are explicit costs, which involve a monetary payment, such as the money for raw materials for production. On the other hand, some costs would be considered implicit, such as using machinery that the firm already owns, which can be less tangible. An implicit cost, also known as an opportunity cost, is a cost that does not require the buyer to pay cash or that cannot easily be assigned a monetary value. The economic cost for a firm is the sum of explicit and implicit costs. Consider a beauty shop that has to rent space for the shop and hire stylists. Once the owner signs her lease, she can no longer adjust the size of her shop. So her shop would be her fixed input. Once the lease expires, she can consider a larger or smaller space to rent, but that would be in the long run. A firm's fixed cost is the cost of fixed inputs, which does not change as output changes, such as rent, property taxes, and manager salaries. Because the quantity of fixed inputs does not change in the short run, these fixed costs do not vary with output. Fixed costs occur even when output is zero. A firm's variable cost is the cost of variable inputs and changes as output changes. Variable costs include things such as labor, like stylus, and materials such as shampoo, hair dye, or towels. To increase the number of hair styling sessions produced, the owner must continually increase the use of these variable inputs, and so variable costs will rise. If the beauty shop's rent is $100 per day and stylus cost $100 per day, the shop's cost can be plotted to create a graph. The fixed cost curve is flat and is the same whether output is zero or 21. At zero units of output, the variable cost is zero. As output rises, variable cost for a fixed number of hairstyles rises at an increasing rate because of diminishing returns. The law of diminishing marginal returns is the observation in the short run that each additional unit of a production input, holding all other inputs fixed, will yield progressively smaller increases in output. Increasing the number of stylists, for example, yields fewer and fewer additional units of output because the size of the shop is limited and only so many stylists can fit before they begin running into each other. Total costs is the sum of a firm's fixed and variable costs. The total cost curve for the beauty shop has the same shape as the variable cost curve, but is shifted up by the amount of fixed cost. At an output of zero, total cost is equal to fixed cost.